Welcome back to all of you and welcome back to Julia Greaves. So she's going to joining us now to share more clever ways to turn your winter wardrobe into a summer wardrobe by converting some key pieces. So here's what you're going to need for this project. You're going to need a pair of jeans. We all have one. Good fabric cutting scissors, a seam ripper if you've got it, chalk, lots of pins, fabric glue or, so, or a sewing machine if you have that. This time, Julia, you're lending your magic touch to a pair of jeans. What an excellent project this is. You know what? This is a really fun one. And I'm going to say, Trace, I'm going to be honest that this DIY is a little more challenging than some of my other DIYs. But no, you know what? I'm not going to say challenging. What I'm going to say is time consuming. But come on. We all have a little extra time right now. So why don't we use it and create something amazing? So what I'm going to show you is how we're going to make, uh, we're going to deconstruct a pair of jeans and turn it into a mini skirt. Not your basic mini skirt. No, this is a deconstructed pair of jeans. We're going to keep as many vintage elements as possible and have this looking like it just popped off of a runway. Um, Trace, I do have to be honest with you. I have been making these skirts and wearing these skirts since uh, I'm going to say the early 90s. Shh. Of course, it's a jean skirt. I mean, who hasn't at one point in their life had a jean skirt in their closet, whether it's A-line, whether it's short, whether it's long, they're a staple, staple, right? Absolutely. Okay, so let's get started. You're gonna need a pair of jeans, easy, easy. First thing we're gonna do is measure the length that we want the skirt to be. So what you would do is you take the jeans, just sort of hold them up to your waist, and then you're just gonna use your hand and measure down to feel sort of maybe where your knee is, so that would be a mark. Or another, you know, rule of thumb for the perfect length of a mini skirt is when your arm is straight down against your body, you want it to be the length of your middle finger, so that longer finger. So you would just sort of put a mark there. You could either just dot that with a little bit of chalk so you know where that mark is. Then you're going to cut the legs off at that point. So we're just going to use our fancy scissors and we're just gonna cut where we made the chalk, right at your, above your knee or sort of at that middle finger. Easy, easy, easy. And we're just gonna cut along. And then here's my little trick on how to get the length the same on both legs without having to measure again. Oh, tough one there, got it. Move that, we don't need those right now. Take your jeans like this and then just over, fold, like fold it over to the other side. And then you can just cut that second leg very easily. Oh geez, come on. Scissors, scissors. There we go. <laughs> and again, don't worry about this being straight. That's kind of what's the beauty of this when it starts to look deconstructed. You don't need these seams to be straight at this point. You can always tidy that up at the end. Okay, we don't need these right now, but don't get rid of the bottoms of the legs. We are going to need them. All right, Tracy, here comes the time consuming part. What we need to do now is to seam rip the inner seams and up through the front and the back. And what I mean by seam rip is you are actually going to use, uh, you can use a seam ripper, and you're going to start to rip at the stitches in the seam, not the actual fabric. Don't cut the fabric, just rip open the seams, because what you want to expose is that inside part. Could you get away with doing that with scissors? Absolutely, absolutely. This be very careful though, like I said, don't cut the fabric, cut the actual little stitches. So you know, you just have to pour yourself a coffee, watch a little city line, and just keep ripping and ripping and ripping through the seams. And what it'll look like, again, magic of television, I've already done a pair. So what it'll look like when you're done is you will see, it's all open right here in the front and open ah. in the back. You wanna have that part open. So it's all open, ready to go. Now we're gonna pin it back together. So what we're going to do is you're just going to do a little fold over here like this and we're just going to start pinning it. We just put a pin in there and what will happen and look so nice is you'll start to see the inside of those seams that we ripped so that we have that deconstructed feel to it. You don't want this to be too clean. Now we're going to flip it over to the back and now this is a neat part. What we want to do is take, go back to what the legs of the jean used to look like. So you have that side seam, lay that flat and then fold the fabric over that you've opened. And then same thing over here, lay the side seam flat and then 
pull this over. Look how cool this is looking, right? You know, it, again, this is not difficult. Like, we haven't really done anything difficult except time-consuming, right? We had to rip open all those seams. Now we're just going to pin along all those seams. And, but it's so cool. And this is something that you will have forever. You will wear it forever, especially if you're making it out of one of your favorite pairs of jeans. Then, this is the last little part. So we'll flip it back over to the front. There is this little triangle spit piece in the middle that is empty, right? So we want to fill that in. What we can use to do that are the legs. So we fill that in and you just pin that part in. And this is where you can have fun, Tracy. You can use a different color of denim. You can use a different fabric. I love that it's going to have that vintage look though. So it's not going to look like any other jean skirt that you can actually buy in a store. This is going to be an original. That's what makes this look so cool. So once it's all pinned up, I, again, magic of television, Trace, I've got one done. <laughs> so it'll look like that. So it's all pinned up. Wow. And then you've got the back of it like that. And then that's the next part. You can sew it or you can, again, my favorite handy dandy, fabric glue, and you can use it. Actually, fabric <laughs> glue works amazing on denim. Thanks so 